Hey, I'm Kev Kermasco. Welcome back to iRacing and the Ferrari GT3 Fixed Series Challenge thing. Uh, it's, it's a 15 minute sprint and in qualifying around Road America, we weren't last as I've been pressing the wrong button. Here we go. I actually meant to be pressing the keyboard. As you can see, we're eighth. The number 10 car out of 17. They saw us in qualifying. As I had no practice for this. I had one lap of practice and one qualifying lap. So, that should be a good race. I got a good feeling for this. I didn't realize we have to do a whole bloody lap of this thing. Good. As you probably see, I'm just pumping the brakes a bit. Not so much to actually do something with the car, just for my feeling as well. But it's been a while since I've driven in I racing with these pedals. I was meant to already have the Hersenfeld sprint pedal set up, but I've been a bit lazy. I'm on it. They're still in the boxes, still have to be assembled. So yeah, we had one lap and qualifying. I didn't see 206.4. I'm only like two seconds off the pace, so I'm actually pretty happy with that, considering as I said, it's the first time in the car this season. And after one lap of practice, we weren't slowest. As you can see, six guys did not qualify, including the number one car, so it should be fun going through the field. I guess my setup sucks. <laughs> Definitely does, doesn't it? As we start eighth, right in the mid all of the pack. I'm just nicking to make it to the end with kind of no incidents. There's probably going to be one or two off tracks. I know that already, because I've already crashed in practice and in qualifying. But I didn't crash in qualifying, it just went wide everywhere on my second lap, so I only did one lap of qualifying. I'm very much looking forward to racing around Road America again. It's been too long. Such an awesome circuit. I'm of the rare ones, which hasn't been kind of bastardized by modernization. We had in like runoffs and having to kind of change some corners here, like nip tuck them. Everybody wins on the first lap. Now it's the golden rule of racing. As it's not like, say, Mexico, which has just been absolutely butchered for F1. And to be honest, apart from the fans, you know, that some of the craziest throughout the whole of the calendar, I wouldn't be missing the actual circuit. I prefer the fun relay out, which is basically just a glorified oval with a couple of chicanes. That's how bad the F1 version is now, the normal version. No Penitella, no proper circuit in my eyes as we're already getting a bit close to the guy in front. It's probably the closest we're going to be to a top five all race along. As I said, my pace isn't quite there, it seems like in qualifying. I know if we get a lap together, I, re I'm, I reckon we could get in the 205s. That's the aim, get to the 205s in the race and not have too many incident points. Make it through pretty unscathed. So we'll see. This is normally a bit messy at the start round in Road America. I was watching some of the, I think it was European Le Mans series or was it the I Race in the Mans series? Well, that's a different class, but still that was hectic. Oh no, it's a GT3. Oh god. And a GT3 car. This isn't too bad. We're in kind of no man's land. Let's try and remember our breaking point. Car on your right. Clear right. Hey, we did it. We all survived. He's got the number car, one car already behind us. Oh, seven dropped behind us. What happened to them? 
We must have had a shocking start. So I've got to break just before the two board. So that number one car. Left side. Clear left. So that's never gonna work there, buddy. Okay, Kev. Don't be intimidated by this little shit. Make it work for it. Careful car on your left. Clear left. I might as well let him bite. Yeah, they my spot are getting pretty angry about the number one car. I mean, I don't remember that being his name as he goes a bit wide on the exit. The car sell. A bit wide in the kink, that's abysmal. Because again, we're in kind of no man's land. That's all. Who's that fifth? No, not you, crew chief. Fifth. Can't aim, mate. Yeah, I can't aim. Canada corner. Repeat, please. Your plonker. Now you're breaking up. See, he doesn't even want to listen to me, crew chief. What the hell? Repeat, please. As uh, you cross line in, eh? Hey, we're where we started. Number one call when you got to see it. Bloody hell. And look at those aggressive moves in front. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 1.1 seconds. It's just got to get into my rhythm. And I need to go behind slower than me. The guy behind's catching. The gap's now. At least in qualifying. Seconds. Seems to be a bit stronger in the race though. Probably shouldn't have cut the grass on the inside. But we're much more confident in the car sell than the guy behind. To be catching up to this battle for Sith. Man, I've missed this car. And man, I've missed Road America as well. Just road racing in general, because mostly I play now is like Dirt Rally 2.0, Supercross 2. The only circuit racing I really do is MotoGP at the moment. Because we've got Gravel, we've got Dakar as well. There you go, we've matched our qualifying pace. What are your decent starters? Oh, guy in front crashes. That's a lucky escape. Oh, is, oh no, he took out the guy behind, did he? Oh, that's unlucky. That is really unfortunate. Maybe we need to get down to first for that corner. It's fourth and fifth having a Dean Don battle already. Let's see how these go. No, the guy behind. It's once again very wide in the carousel. 
just that midpoint going a bit too much mid corner speed. When it's really all about setting up that exit. So pulling away from the guys behind. Really surprised at that. Yeah, just under driving at the moment. I think I'm doing like 80% of the car's potential at the moment. Definitely be much quicker than this. Seventh position, sector two is 0.3 seconds off the pace. It's all wide again in one. We're losing time all the time to the guy in front. Oh, it's, whoa, what the hell? That's why I'm changing pedals, because I have no idea how I kind of lost it there. Lost a couple of seconds. There goes our first off track. Limits. Calm down, crew chief. It's Can one off track. Yeah, exactly. There you go, that's a bit better through there. Much better through the kink. Oh, we're going a couple of tents, so that's a lot of there. Oh, you should stop showing off then. So I'll put it away from the guys behind again after I miss that. Yeah, I lost a couple of seconds out of that. The rest of that was pretty good as well, which is annoying. Once again, lost a couple of tents in the first corner. Braked a bit earlier there. So we've lost another tenth, but at least we've made it through the corner without any dramas. Actually, it looks like we're gaining time on the exit. Well, too much braking power there. That's what I'm talking about, being too cautious in this car, not fulfilling its potential. Oh, lucky get away with no off cut there. Off cut, off track. So how much time I've been doing this high racing thing. All these off cuts everywhere. You can probably take that flat out because I had lots of margin on the outside. Just not that confident yet. So the back end tried to swing a bit there. Not really a swinger type, so not the biggest fan of that. Once again, very cautious in the final corner. So unfortunately, the guy in front's pulling away. He's got into a good rhythm. The guy behind's 
the Toronto Hotel. The guy behind is really new the gap's now 2.2 seconds. Your lap time was at 206 0.80. Once again, lost the tenth in the first corner. Getting it back in the second, no. I think it's final that next time, is it? Or is it penultimate that? How many two minute laps go into 15? Seven and a bit. So I actually got a couple laps to go. So that's way too late. So he's lost a second behind. You have like a mini spin or something. This lap hasn't been too bad. We're actually matching the guy in front, I think, on this lap. And we've doubled our lead to the guy behind. Hey, 205, we've achieved it. Still lots of time to improve upon, though. No? Especially when you do stuff like that. It's only cost us like half a second though. Not as bad as before. I think it's just because we're downshifting a bit too quickly. Go on, so slow in that left-hander. So, oh no, second off track. The lines, track limits. I know, crew chief. That's a bit too slow in that corner. The guy in front's teeing off on this lap. Dipping into two fours, maybe. I mean, we have been scruffy as well. There's a good battle going on behind for eight. Yes, yeah, it's right flag lap. Just one to go. Last lap. And yeah, we're a second so that lap as well. So he actually did a two oh five low two oh five, I think. And that's one thing we really need to improve in our road racing as well. Hopefully that comes with the pedals, is the consistency.
Yay, not off oh, track. Kev. Track limits, come on. But what track limits? You know, you're getting all these off cuts. Is that what you want? No, okay, too much mid corner speed again, have I? Actually, that seems to be pretty good. Because you get a good run off the corner. There's another off cut. In the final lap. Got to take me double the amount on the final lap. Really shows how good we are. So that number one car got a podium from what last? As you come out of the final corner to finish seventh, I'll take that. With one level practice. <laughs> Maybe if I actually did practice, I'd be a bit closer to the top rather than a second and a half. Or an average two seconds okay, off. Why are you so depressed, crew chief? I think it's because I got those off tracks in the final lap. He's like, this race wasn't worth it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Driving this car around Road America. As you see, I'm leaving time on the table in every corner, but we get into the rim, we get better as the season goes on if we keep driving this car. I think I only drove it like four times or five times last season. So I'll definitely try and at least double that. Get it into double figures, but I hope you enjoyed the change of pace as well again with some road racing. I know I'm normally an oval fiend at the moment. And I race with the Indy cars. But I do still love the old circuit racing. Especially when it's round road America. Shame we didn't have too much action. That would have been a bit that would have been nice if we actually had the pace for a fight with Sif, but maybe next race. As you go through the kink towards Canada corner. Well that's horrible. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.